Hello, welcome to Physics Teacher. In this video, I'm going to go over the solution to this grade 11 math contest problem. It's question 19 from the Fermat contest in 2020. Give it a try and I'll be right back with the answer. All right, so this question says, when this expression below is expanded and fully simplified, the coefficient of x squared is equal to 1. For that to be true, what is the sum of all possible values of m? All right, so let's expand this. It's going to get pretty big, so let's just focus on expanding the terms that are going to have an x squared in them. So for example, 3 and 1 are not going to give us an x squared. 3 and mx are not going to give us an x squared. However, 3 and m squared x squared is. Let's write that one down. We have 3 m squared x squared. All right, what about 2x? 2x and 1 is not x squared. However, 2x and mx is. So let's write that one down. So we're going to have plus 2m x squared. Now 2x and m squared x squared is a cubic, uh, so that's not a squared. Finally, let's look at x squared. x squared and 1 gives us an x squared term, and it's the only one, because x squared and mx will give us a cube, and x squared and m squared x squared gives us a power of 4. So we're left with simply x squared. So now we can simplify these. Let's pull out x squared. And we're left with 3m squared plus 2m plus 1. And what this is saying is this coefficient here is going to be equal to 1. So it says 3m squared plus 2m plus 1 will equal to 1. So what are all the possible values of m? Well, if I subtract 1 from both sides of the equation, I get 3m squared plus 2m is equal to 0. So now I can factor out an m, and we're left with 3m plus 2 is equal to 0. So m has two solutions here. n can be 0, or m can be minus 2 thirds. So our answer if we add 0 and minus 2 thirds, is B.